Okay, welcome back to Football Manager and this Claremont save where we've made it to the beginning of April. We did do the second leg of the Everton game off screen and also the cup semi-final just because I realised it was a second division team who were not very good and we were probably going to win. And yeah, we had a couple of league games as well. Four, maybe? We are getting close to the end of the season now. So off screen we did... This game against Nice, we won 3-1. Omega scored because, <laughs> I mean, of course. It was actually kind of close, though. We didn't take the lead until the 74th minute through Abdu Kante. Um, this one didn't go great. We took the lead twice, but got pinned back, drew 2-2. We did advance, but it was <laughs> closer than I would have liked. We then played Bordeaux, 1-2-0. Shockingly... No, I was going to say no goal for Omega. I'm looking at the team he didn't play. <laughs> That's how surprising it is. Like, oh my god, Omega didn't score? He didn't actually come on the pitch, which would be why. 3-2 uh, against Strasbourg. Brace for Omega, but also not that great. We uh, we were 2-2 with 10 minutes to go. So, not amazing, but we did win it, thanks to Omega. And then we had the Angers game. Um, backup team, good performance from Bio, very good performance from Bio. Uh, yeah, we went, we went 1-0 down in this game. We were only down for, I don't know, <laughs> 30 seconds, but still not amazing. Um, it is pretty much our backups, but, you know, we still have, we have good players out there. But 3-1, pretty comfortable. And 3-0 against Dijon. Hat-trick. <laughs> Hat-trick for Omega, you know, because why not? And now we've made it to this game, our first leg against Napoli. It's a it's it's a tough draw. But we are on the opposite side to Arsenal. I think the semi-final have been Yeah, so we're gonna be up if we beat Napoli, we'll have Marseille or Rangers in the semi. Um and we're looking at either Arsenal or Milan versus probably Roma on the other side. This is a winnable competition, I think. I think we can definitely win this. Um, more importantly, in the league, we are top, and we've just extended our gap. Also, Omega has 39 goals. <laughs> and uh, Jean Mario's made it onto the first page of assists. Um, he didn't actually win Player of the Month last month. I think Harlan scored five goals in one game. Um, can we look at, like, form? Uh, no. You don't do this for like other people's players. Um, I'm pretty sure he scored five in one game, uh, which <laughs> which got him player of the month. I think he scored ten goals in three matches or something. Um, so Omega finished second. This one, yeah, Harlan scored all five here. Uh, they lost. They got decimated by Liverpool, like absolutely destroyed. Which it kind of reflects badly on me, but you know that's fine. But they drew with Montpellier, which is. A big slip up, and he scored four in that game, so <laughs> that's why he won player of the month. If you score four in one game, five in another, and round out with just one in your final game, you're probably on for player of the month. Um, but they're out of the Champions League, so all they have left is the league. So they're going to be looking... Oh, they drew the Ren as well. Yeah, they, they just... They slipped up all over the place. Um, so they've got six games left. If they win all six, which includes us, we, we we still pretty much... I mean, we're in such good shape here. Um, our cup final, for what it's worth, is against Marseille, which is a throwback to season two. Um, we're still in Europe. We have, mon we have a harder run-in, obviously. But even if we say... If we beat Mets and Saint-Étienne and Lorient and Lille, if we win those four... Even if we were to lose to Monaco and PSG, we still win the league. Probably, on goal difference. Actually, that depends how much they beat us by. If we go into the final game of the season three points up and, like, six goals up, I still wouldn't be confident. But I think we're 15 goals up right now. Yeah, so we're 15 goals up on goal difference. We're in really good shape. Um, we're on for a quadruple right now. I mean, the cup I'm feeling very confident about. We don't have to play PSG. <laughs> so, I feel like we should be beating Marseille. 
Europa League is questionable. There are tough teams left, but we can win it. Uh, and we already won the trophy de champions uh, on penalties. So, you know, we could win four trophies this year. I mean, it's a it's a good... We're in for an exciting end to the season. Oh, one big thing worth mentioning. Um, <laughs> it might have just been on that screen. I wasn't looking. I sold George Bayo. Um, this was unintentional. I mean, it was intentional. I was trying to sell him. But I thought it would go through at the end of the season. Um, oh my god, they're giving him 100 grand a week. So I, I was just like looking through my... Um, or I was setting my team for a game... And I saw, I'm sure you've noticed that, I've hovered over it enough, is when a team wants a player, they get this little wanted tag next to them. And I saw that next to him, and I was like, what? <laughs> My who? And it was, who was it, Al-Ali? Yeah, it was Al-Ali, um, who, if you don't know, are a very, very rich Saudi Arabian club. And I was like, God, I wonder if I just offer him out for 10 million, will they take him off my hands? Because I do not want him. And if I can get rid of him, like, before the summer, so I don't have to worry about it then, um, that would be amazing. And, <laughs> yeah, um, apparently their transfer window is open. So um, they, they took it down to 7.25. That was still a profit. I was absolutely delighted to make a 2 million profit off a player who's been pretty poor um yeah and he just wanted money and i mean fair play i think he was on 25 grand a week here and he's up to 100 grand a week for the next four years so he's 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 made his money he does not care um so we are a little <laughs> we're a bit light at left back i mean the good thing is richards can play there um if we need him to zadad can go over and cover conte is going to be the starter now um, but we've got cover if we need it. Um, and Jean Mario can play right back if we want to go Richards at left and then get a sort of attacking right back in and Mengi can play right back. We, we should be okay. Um, it would be better if we weren't in this many competitions, but, but it's fine. Um, Omega's up to 48 goals, just for those keeping track. Um, don't really know what to say, you know? Uh, 34 games, three appearances off the bench, 48 goals, six assists. One penalty. He's having an okay season, and apparently he's getting worse. I <laughs> I don't know how that's possible. Oh, in his second game for Holland, he got a hat trick because why wouldn't he? Um, yeah, he's pretty good. Um, Batarina's also kind of killing it. Batarina's up to twenty four assists. Jean Mario was having a good season. Milambo finished second in the next gen, like top fifty, and. Uh, somebody else finished 10th. Who finished 10th? <laughs> uh, was it was it Martinez? Yeah, yeah, Martinez finished 10th. 9th. 9th? Milambo finished 2nd, Martinez finished 9th, I think. Oh, I, I also think I signed a player off it. Did I sign a player off it? I think I did. Oh, yeah, this kid. I signed this kid, uh, who is nuts. I mean, the <laughs> these stats at 17... How is he not playing for Serbia yet? 18 dribbling, 16 passing, 16 technique, 14 flair, 18 vision, 16 work rate, 16 agility, 17 back. He is so good. It's like a Kazorla kind of. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Um, so yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm very happy with that signing. It cost us one point. It cost us not very much. What was it? Can I not see it here? 1.4 million. Okay, that, that was the amount. Yeah, so pretty good signing as far as I'm concerned. Let's get into this Napoli game. Okay, this is the team we're going with for our first leg. I've put Xavi... The only like weird thing would be Xavi at central attacking mid. I just feel like I haven't really... I mean, he's played a lot. Like, he's played a good chunk. Um, yeah, I mean, he, he's played enough, but I feel like I'm playing him... Here, and then if Busquets isn't centre-back, he's not really getting in, because Busquets is starting ahead of him, so Yankov's not had the best season, like, Yankov's been solid, but he's not had the best season, so let's start Xavi here, because he's had some good games there. Um, yeah, this, this team looks good. Hopefully we are at home, we do want to be winning this one, we do want to be winning this one by at least one, hopefully two, to make the away leg a bit more comfortable. 
Um, but yeah, this team is very good. Rugari into Insignia. I mean, maybe three center backs is the way to keep um, Omega quiet because we haven't seen him yet, and they are playing three center backs. So maybe that maybe that's the uh, method is put three men on him <laughs> and hope that's enough. We'll see. Hantanji. Forward to Busquets, back to Hantanji. Just dawdles on the ball, kind of, then boots it forward to Kuros. To Lozano, to Di Lorenzo. That is a lovely ball. And to Raspadori. Uh, offside, maybe? Might be. It looked very close. I think he's on, but fingers crossed. Okay, okay, okay. That was good. Because <laughs> we we don't want to lose this game. Abdu Kante. It feels like every chance starts like this with Xavi. That is not... Not a good first highlight for you. Raspadori, back to Fabian. Fabian takes it forward, boots it, and it hits off someone and goes to Richards, who heads it clear. Fabian gets it back, though, to Insignia. Lovely ball through. He was onside there. Oof. Luckily, Raspadori seems to be only able to score when he's offside. Diallo, last chance before halftime. Ruggeri. Can we get a tackle in? It looks like it's definitely going to be a chance for them. Oh, maybe not. Diallo. Diallo, is he going to get tackled by Omega? No, Ruggeri. Can we win this back? If we, oh, uh oh, Benasser, lovely ball, lovely shots. Oof, we are very lucky to be going in nil nil. That was not a good half. They didn't have any shots on target, and we had three, and we had a really good miss chance. They just had the better highlights, but that didn't feel good for us. Okay, the stats are so in our favor that it seems kind of shocking that where they had every, well, there you go. <laughs> I was going to say that they've had every highlight. Um, all we need to do at any given moment to get a goal is cross the ball into the box. Can we do another one? Conte to Bayo, he's off the bench. To Conte to Milambo, also off the bench. All the way back to Mengi. Mengi, across to Hantanji, to Busquets. Oh, lovely bit of interplay. Joe Mario. Oh my god, great 10th goal of the season. What a signing. Do you remember when we lost Alavina and it felt kind of questionable? We had to make this big, expensive loan signing to bring in Jao Mario. What a signing. What a player. I mean, that... Honestly, you look at the stats. We really were dominant. They had their first shot on target in the 90th minute. Like, they didn't... They didn't have a shot on target. It just felt like they had so many opportunities. They just... They weren't great chance. I don't, I don't know what it was. They, it felt like they had a lot of chances. But <laughs> if you look at the shots and the shots on target, it's absolutely a fair result. Um, shockingly, I think possession stayed at 50-50 pretty much the entire game. But, you know, great performance to Jao Mario, deserved man of the match. Omega got a goal because, <laughs> of course he did. And, yeah, we should be, we're definitely the favourites. We're definitely the favourites. Elsewhere, Roma beat Rapid Vienne with a Wilfred Zaha goal. It's kind of cool. Uh, Arsenal and Milan drew. That's an interesting one. Arsenal were away. Marseille <laughs> will be our opponents in the semi-final, I guess, if we get through, because that is an absolute demolition. Rangers also, in real life, made it to the semi-final. It hasn't happened yet. Uh, is it the semi-final? Yeah, it is the semi which is shocking. Honestly, the, it's absolutely crazy to me that Rangers have made it to the semi-final. Um... I don't even know how that's... They, their investment must be so low compared to the other teams. But, I mean, fair play. Hopefully they don't get <laughs> four goals from Sengiz Under. I still don't know how to say his name. He played, like, a season for Leicester, and I still... No, no concept. Um, good result for us. Should be able to control that in the second leg and get through. Um, we're going to have two big... Actually, do we still play Marseille in the league? I don't think so. If we do, we... <laughs> We're going to have, like, four more games against Marseille. Um, but, yeah, great start for us. I mean, at this point, seeing as they failed to win, like, three of their last five, usually I just skip over, especially when they're playing a team that we beat 8-3. <laughs> but you just never know with PSG at this point, so let's see what happens. Okay. <laughs> In fairness, that was quite quite a resounding victory. Also, is there any way he catches us? He's only eight behind. He, he like, regularly scores five in a game. Which honestly makes him way worse. Because Omega is, like, a goal every game, and then sometimes he gets a hat trick. Whereas Haaland will go, like, three games without scoring, and then he'll score five. 
Um, I think that's the third time this season he scored five, <laughs> which is pretty nuts. Um, yeah, I mean, he's got 31 goals in like 20... Has he played every game? He's got 31 in 28, and he's not even close to being top scorer. That's... <laughs> this is kind of like Ronaldo and Messi at their peaks in uh, in La Liga. That is crazy. Okay, this is a really big one. Even though Lille, who we play next, are above Monaco, it just always feels like Monaco have our number. Like, if there's one team except for PSG that are going to beat us, it always feels like it's going to be Monaco. So we need to we need to focus. We need to win this because we've got we've got Napoli in a few days. Hopefully, we can just kind of coast through that one with a weaker team because we have to play our full team here. Uh, so that's what we're going for. Lecomte boots it forward, and it's won by Mengi. Mengi, who's been booked now, which you don't love early in the game, but that's okay. Richards round his man to Jean Mario, waiting for Richards to make a run, which he doesn't. Busquets. Back to Hantanji. All the way back to Dahlberg. Don't boot it forward. Just to Mengi. Okay. To Hantanji. They've picked their highlights very peculiarly in this one. Mengi. Out to Richards. Like, we're back to where the highlight started. And the highlight started, like, <laughs> 30 passes ago. Yankov. Whips it in. What? <laughs> it just feels, like, illegal. When it's a highlight that ends with Omega heading it. And it doesn't go in. Batarina. Are they going to make up for it? What? Omega! <laughs> goal! Get it in the goal! Come on! More. Throws it in to Side A? Side E? Siede? I really have no concept. Braf. To Abdu Kante. To Batarina? Back to Kante. Kante just sort of wobbles with the ball. To Braf. To Kante. Again, does this need to be in the highlight? Braf. To Mengi. Mengi to Hantanji. Antonji, lovely little chipped pass to Mario. Now he gets the overlapping run, which Busquets picks out. There we go. Chris Richards, you know where this is going. I know where this is going. We all, Oh my god, Lecomte, what a save. Well, at least that one went on target. Mengi to Conte. It could have hit the bar, actually. Conte down the wing to Braff. Whips it in. Mario! There we go. Lovely goal. It's kind of surprising. Omega wasn't on the end of it, but that's our wingers combining. It's nice to see our wingers combine for a goal. Golovin. Golovin is still here, okay. Back to Chaumani. To Voland. To Enrique. We just let him walk through. I <laughs> don't know why we did, but nice finish. That is an absolutely massive goal in the title race. If we win this, I, I don't see how we don't win the league. It feels like this is the game. If we win this one, it's over. So, absolutely massive performance in this first half. Oh, straight from tip. Omega to Mengi. Please be for us. Yankov <laughs> to Busquets. We do not want to start the second half by conceding. It looks like it's for us. No, it's not for us. Golovin to Enrique. Oh, it could be for us. Uh-oh. It's not for us. Oh, no, it's not for us. <laughs> Golovin. Oh. Oh, Mengi. Great tackle. I mean, I still think they're going to score, but... <sighs> not a good start. Okay, you know what? That's not a bad result. That's not a bad result. We probably didn't deserve a draw there. 1-1? One, one. <sighs> that was a big that was a big issue standing in our way. Um and we've taken a point. So we're still 4 points clear, which is honestly pretty good. Lille next is a big one in the league. We've got Napoli before them, but Lille in the next league game is big. Um, but I'll take that. I'll take 1-1 one, one there. Oh, I didn't think about that. Them winning 7-0 is a real issue for us. Oh, God. <laughs> That's not good. Um, they are catching up on goal difference. Because that's the thing. They could go out and pummel someone like 8 or 9-0, and I wouldn't even be surprised. We're, we're eight ahead on goal difference, and we're four points clear. I actually hadn't even said, but um, I think five Premier League teams made it through to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Um, so Barca and Juve take down Chelsea and Man U. Uh, how do I see stages? Uh, so it looks like... 
I mean, Bayern could knock out Liverpool and only one of these two can go there. Oh, also Leeds, <laughs> who are now managed by Simeone, by the way. Um, still have Stuart Dallas, Calvin, but it seems like they have more or less the same team that they did. I mean, this is literally like their current team, basically. There's, is, is it literally just two players in this 11 that aren't in their current side? I think it is. Like, that is crazy. That we're in 2025 and they're basically playing the same team. And they're in the Champions League quarterfinal with a chance to get through to the semis. Um, I mean, it could be one English team in the semis after having five in the quarters, which would be quite amusing. Um, so yeah, let's go, let's go Bayern and Leeds. I'm pulling for Leeds to win the whole thing just because it would be hilarious because they're 12th in the league. <laughs> It'd be a bit out of nowhere. Okay. Patrick Bamford with a brace to take down Man City. I... I mean, Liverpool went through, but I think Bamford scored in the first lap. Bamford is just killing it. I mean, what? <laughs> he's never been capped for England. He's 31 years old. He's got four goals in the league. <laughs> I think he scored all four of their goals in these two. Maybe he scored one in the first leg. I mean, he's got four league goals, and yet he's just gone... And got three goals in two quarterfinal Champions League games against Man City to knock them out. Leeds are going to the Champions League semi-final. God, Leeds have been re-established as a European powerhouse. They're still crap in the league, but... I mean, I think they'd take this, to be honest. Um, Bayern do go out to Liverpool. But, um, yeah, Leeds, Liverpool, Juve and Barca... It's quite the lineup. <laughs> this lineup is questionable. Um, we've got a lot of tired legs, so we're going with this team. I think they're good enough to not lose by two. Maybe. Um, the league is more important, and we do have Lille next. And if I play all my starters here, they'll they're going to be dead. Like they're going to be absolutely dead. Yeah, we're going with this team, somewhat questionably. Okay, it looks like we're starting with a chance for them, which I don't love. Zielinski, oh my god, look at that from Bio. Look, he wants to prove he's good enough to play. Rashani, who's Martinez? I mean, it's just that easy for us. It's just that easy. Didn't expect that. <laughs> I mean, that's a massive start. I think we did this against Hertha Berlin too, though. Okay, Insignia. Over to Raspadori. Can Abdu Kante get there? I mean, the centre back pairing of Florent Augier and Abdu Kante is a worry. As is uh, Akim Zidadka, a left back. That's okay. We're still up by two. Okay, Ruggeri. I, I would like to remind you that we are still up by two. Still up by two. Dahlberg catches. Dahlberg. Just hold on to it till half time. They might, they might card you for it, but I think you can do it. Augier. Back to Dalberg. I love that I've just called on OJ in like big moments this season and he has not showed up at all. Milambo, that is an abs. That is a a peach of a ball. Bio I <laughs> probably would have shot there, honestly. Dalberg. To Abdu Conte. This centre back pair. I mean they weren't expecting it, and maybe that's enough. Xavi to oh Xavi, stop putting him under pressure. He's not he's not here to play football. He's just here, you know, to support his team, and I've told him he has to play. Let's not, let's not put too much pressure on him. Zielinski to Insignia. Look at that from Abdu Kante. Abdu Kante is a decent centre-back, you know. Xavi. God, Martinez is dangerous. This is a goal. Batarina. I don't know how that got to him. I don't know how he didn't score. I don't know how it got to him in the first place, though. Uh, Alte to Kuros to Benacer. Okay, good. I like no highlight. Insignia to Raspadori to Di Lorenzo. I don't love this much space, but Abdu Kante. Lovely clearance. <laughs> Still up by two. Honestly, kind of a fantastic first half. We we have over twice their XG. We probably should be winning. Yeah, I have no complaints. I think that was really good. Jean Mario. He's, you might not have noticed him. He's playing right back, by the way. <laughs> Our back line is a right winger playing right back. 
a right back playing left back, a left back playing centre back, and an old man playing centre back. Lorenzo. Oh God, I don't know if that was Lozano or Di Lorenzo, but I was about to call him Lorano, so it was wrong either way. Fabian to Insignia. Oh God, could save Dahlberg. I mean, we didn't concede right after half time, so that's that's an improvement. Okay, it's a weird one. Papetti heads it very, very far wide. Okay, we brought three starters off and got three starters on. Um, we want to have everyone as rested as possible. Ogier to Busquets. Oh, he was one of the players off the bench. Nice chance. Look at Ogier. Let's just have some respect for Florent Ogier, okay? What a player. Free kick for Napoli. It's... Uh, there's Okay, that was offside, I think. I'm reasonably sure that was offside. He looked like he was standing on the goal line. I think. <laughs> <laughs> it would be quite bad if this was a goal. Hmm. Okay, still up by one. Okay, they're playing out from the back. This is always a potential chance for us. Thierry Rendal to Lozano. It doesn't feel like a chance for us anymore. To Politano. Great tackle, Mengi. Oh my god. But it was a great tackle from Mengi, and that's what we need to take from it. Still up by one. Rashani, this is a chance. Rashani to Oji to Xavi! Oh, there we go. First goal of the season. What a time to get it. Oh, there we go. That should put it to bed. We're up by two. Big contribution from Oji there. Whew. Dahlberg, just running down the clock now to Oji, to Mengi. I mean, this is like victory lap for, for Florent Oji. Nobody thought he could do it. And in fairness, he can't, as is clear. <laughs> he blatantly can't. Still up by one. Honestly, absolutely heroic performance. A 6.9 for Florent Ogier, age 58, having not played. Do you remember um, that FA Cup final in 2017 when Arsenal played Chelsea? And Per Mertesacker played, having, having not played a game for like a year and a half. And he was just the best player on the pitch by a mile. I know that Ogier was not the best player on the pitch, but it feels like he was. What a, what a heroic performance. And a deserved, well, I was going to say a deserved win for us. We lost the game. <laughs> but we deserved to win it. So a really good performance, honestly. Okay, Martin Odegaard steers Arsenal to victory against Milan. Rangers restore a bit of pride with a, uh, with a draw against Marseille, but they still go out. And Roma take it until the 120th minute to get a win from Cristante. So... Roma, Marseille, Claremont, and Arsenal. Marseille versus Claremont, and Roma versus Arsenal. These are, these are going to be some good semi-finals. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Arsenal are going to be tough. I hope Roma beat them, because <laughs> I think Arsenal will be really tough to beat. But you never know. We, we could beat them, maybe. Possibly. Okay, we've got another PSG game where if they don't win it, it's pretty much the end of the league. Um, but they do. Brace from Holland. He is still... He's pushing. He's going for it. Six goals behind now. He's making a... He's going for it for sure. <laughs> we have Lille. And if we don't... If we lose, this is wide open. Um, if we win, we're in very good shape. If we draw, it's questionable. Okay. This is it. This is like the last big opponent before... Wait, is it? <laughs> I don't think we have anyone serious until PSG after this, like in the league, I think. Uh, well, Saint Etienne are 13th, 7th, Lorient are having a good season, and 17th. So this is our hardest game left until PSG. Lorient could cause an up. Did Lorient get something against us earlier in the season? It was the 3 2 one, right? Was it? 4 2, okay. Um. Yeah, we, we, we do want to take every game seriously. Like, we have to we have to be full focus, but, you know, I, I kind of be expecting to win Lorient, Saint-Etienne, and Metz. Lille could do something, though. Um, so let's just let's be careful. This is the team, full team. Um, yeah, what you would consider the full team. Let's, let's win. Let's just win. Let's just take it easy, win the game, move on. If we, if we win this one... We're, we're massive favourites to win the title. Oh my god, okay, finally, a highlight. <laughs> we're 37 minutes in. I think we've got five shots on target or something and still not a highlight. Um, so maybe this is for us, Jean Mario. To Busquets, to Yankov. Lovely dinked pass forward to Richards. You know where this is going. 
Richard with... Oh. <laughs> ten, ten shots, five on target, and just not really anything happening. But that's okay. You know? Actually, it's not. We kind of need to win this. Draw. Draw would be dodgy because if they win all of their games, they'll be two points behind us. Um... <laughs> <laughs> going into the last game of the season, which means if they beat us, they win the league. Uh, which is dangerous. Dangerous place to be. Bamba. Oh, it's a good ball in. Headed clear. Omega takes a touch. Look out to your right. Someone look out to the right. <laughs> Joe Mario was making such a good run. Mengi. To Hantanji. Just log it down. Okay. Mengi. Forward to Vasarina. Carries it forward and plays it to Yankov. Tackle, but it rolls to Braff. Raf picks out Omega, who's a, just, just like yards offside. <laughs> he, he must have been three yards offside. It was a really weird decision to pass there. But, um, you know, what can you do? Uh, <laughs> what? Was I missing someone? Was I like, was there a defender? Was the fullback? Oh, maybe he was onside. Okay, my mistake. I'll take it. Great pass. You know, this is why they're the players and I'm the manager. You know, I'm, I can't pick out the passes. Melling. Throws it in straight to Joe Mario. Zakaria. Oh, okay, Yuzichi. They're being very, very slow here. Pacheco. To Bich, Bichiabu. <laughs> Yuzichi. Chipped over the top. Hantanji wins it. All the way to Braff. Braff carries it forward. Goes out to the left. Is he going to cut back? Yes, he is. Whips one in to the back post. Joe Mario. Okay. It's a good effort. It's a nice cross. Joe Mario, not the biggest. I might have gone for Omega, but you know, that's okay. Zakar. Oh. It's not great. Not great. That's okay. Uh, draw's not the end of the world. Um, It's not great. <laughs> but it, it's okay. Bamba. Oh, God. Okay, David. Is this John and David? Yes. Oh my god. Bamba. Good work, Conte. Won it as well. What a, what a play from Conte. We are very tired. Zadadka's off the bench. He's one of the only ones who's actually feeling ready to play. So, so is Xavi. Oh my god, what a ball! Oh, Omega. Oh god, he needs... Oh, he did score. <laughs> he gets all our goals. I was going to say he needs to get a goal, because... I mean, Haaland is pressing, but I guess he did get a goal. Okay. Uh, it's getting a little close for comfort, you know? 1-1. One, one. It's all right. It's not a terrible result. Um, but I do believe... Um, yeah, it is disappointing. I do believe that PSG are just too behind... And five back on goal difference. Ooh. Not, not amazing. Neither of us have had a great season, to be honest. We're way down from last year, I think, on points. But it's okay. We are still ahead. We're still two points clear. We're okay. <laughs> if they win all of their matches the rest of the season, they win the league. But we're one of those matches, so we can stop them. Okay, I'm still, I'm still confident. I'm still confident-ish. Okay, I mean, if you look at the results, like the straight-up results, two draws, a loss, and a win <laughs> doesn't look like a great episode. But we retained our top spot. I think Omega scored in... Oh, no, Omega didn't score in the Monaco game? Ooh, Omega's slowing down a bit. It's worrying. I think he's only got up to 40 goals now. Ooh. That's dangerous. He's only seven clear. <laughs> he genuinely... It's crazy to say that a player who scored 40 goals in like 27 games and is seven clear with four to go is like in danger of being caught. But the fact that Haaland has scored like 15 in his last seven or six makes me a small bit worried that he might be. Um, Batterina is still clear on assists. Omega's not being caught on player of the match. Um, Dahlberg, probably not going to win most clean sheets, because we've been a bit <laughs> questionable defensively. But, um, honestly, that league table is kind of crazy. Technically, there are still five teams who can win the league, but, um, three of them are probably pushing it a bit. So, 
Uh, actually, Leon can't. Because we play... Oh, no, yeah, they can. Yeah, they can. Anyway. Yeah. Okay, episode. We retained our top spot. We advanced in the Champions League. No, we didn't. We advanced in the Europa League. Um, We'll probably do, like, a couple of games off screen, maybe? I don't know. We're obviously not going to do a lot. There's probably two episodes left in this season. Um, At most, we're going to be playing two games off screen, but it might just be one. So, we'll be back next week. Hopefully to <laughs> advance to the champion or the Europa League final. And maybe win the cup as well? I guess it depends how we go in the Europa League. If we don't win our semi-final, then the cup will be the last episode. And we'll do those three in the last episode. Uh, but if we win our semi-final, then I guess the last episode will be Mets and PSG in the Europa League final. We will see. Um, good season so far. We're currently on for a quadruple, which will be nice, but it could end with just the Trophy de Champions. Are we on for a quadruple? Yeah, League, Europe League, Cup. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't count it there. I, I thought I'd added a random competition. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Uh, until then, have a good one.